Uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome back uh, on my YouTube playlist about JavaScript interview questions. And the next interview questions uh, you can face is write the code for merging the two JavaScript object dynamically. So means there are two object, object X and object Y. We are trying to copy the object Y properties into the object X. So what we can do, either we can use object.assign which is a shorthand. So it will copy the from object inside the two object and we will get a new object properties. Otherwise let's uh, write a function, the merge function which is accepting two object, two object from object. And first of all we are checking the type of, then we are iterating onto the first object. Okay, from object, we are iterating the from object and we are putting each and every property into the two object while, while getting it from the from object. First we are iterating from the from object then we are checking that from object has done property or not. If it has the property then assign that property to the two object with the same property. So property same. So using this way you are copying each and every properties from from object to the two object. And this is important question how you can copy either you can use object.assign or either you can just uh, iterate on one object properties just copy them manually inside a loop. Okay. What is a known enumerable properties in JavaScript and how we can create it. So before that you should be aware of all, all these methods object.define property, object.define properties, object. Uh, has on property all these methods. So using object.define properties what we do we are trying to create a new property in the person object the value is this enumerable is false and uh, enumerable uh, configurable all these are actually the properties you can set while creating the property in an object so these are actually the properties of an object property where you can set enumerable false configurable false enumerable false means whenever you are copying this object using object dot create to another object uh, it will not get copied. The reference of this particular property will not get copied to another object. Okay, so for now like whenever we are doing object.keys it is going to give you an array, right? So creating the properties in JavaScript is easy. Either you just do a, this is the person object. Name property is already there. I'm just adding another property salary, right? and I'm trying to access the country property which obviously will be added here. So there are three properties now in the person object name, salary and country. Okay. You can add another property into the person object is the phone number which is enumerable is false otherwise it is same as another properties. It has a value, it has enumerable false, configurable will by default will be true. Okay function binding so this uh, whenever we do a DOM event handling then we use this function binding on the event handlers so we have this button and I'm adding a action onto this button is actually button dot add event listener so whenever you click on to that button this particular function will get executed okay and this for this function is doing this function is just printing some message this dot message and whenever you are actually clicking on to this function uh, clicking, clicking on to this button you are getting this message undefined now try to think how why this is happening because you are actually trying to access this object inside not inside a lexical scope it is outside the lexical scope okay so here I mean it's a nested functions and this object has can be accessed till this context if you try to access this object outside this then it will not be able to available so either what are the fix either we assign this function to self variable or do the bind so we are using this safe approach which is bind click handler dot handle click and bind this to the click handler function okay so in that case all these variable message will be available because you have already bind the click handler method okay it is a little bit tricky but this is how we used to do it Another th thing is uh, this particular ify function, right? So display function, here you will get this is an undefined because display function is not even defined. 
so if you block prevents the function hoisting and variable hoisting or it will prevent the the global scope outside this particular if you block okay another thing is uh, out the the output of this particular code employee id is this and here you are returning this code right and you are calling this function so this become unreachable code and you are just returning the employee id right so employee id will be in this case abc123 because this employee id it will it is trying to pick from the global scope which is available outside the function scope okay that's it uh, guys the important part of this video is only uh, what are the new non enumerable properties and why should we create it we should create non enumerable properties if you don't want them to be copied while doing object dot assign or while, while doing a copying object a into object b and this is another best, best example of merging two array